Wayne's Boys coming to you with another video about natural hair and in particular about fine natural hair. So I wanted to come on, I haven't been on for a while, to do a couple of things. To talk to you guys about the direction of my channel um, and what I have in mind for this channel, as well as um, maybe some tutorials. And this is what I mean by that. Um, I regularly go on YouTube, like many of you, uh, for tutorials or hairstyle suggestions. And I've been, you know, taking up some of those suggestions that I've seen. And I don't know if a tutorial on a hairstyle is my thing because those are things um, that are already out there. Um, what I like to do is do the hairstyles and post pictures on my Instagram page to show that a lot of things are doable with fine natural hair. Um, so just kind of thinking about what my purpose is for my channel, I really believe my purpose is for education about fine natural hair. As naturals, um, you know, especially for those of us who were permed most of our, relaxed the most of our lives, like me, I'm 49 years old, I was relaxed the majority of my life. I really didn't know how to do my natural hair and I struggled when I became natural. I struggled with products. I struggled with hairstyles, but mainly I would say products, especially because A number one, I'm a fine natural and that what your natural hair is, is your natural hair and no product is going to do that for you. Um, and I've learned that. The, the other thing is I've learned that moisture is the most important component of natural hair. And you've seen me come on videos and say, moisture, moisture, moisture. Water is what I'm talking about. There, there really isn't a day that I don't spritz my natural hair. Uh, I can't really think of a time that I don't spritz my natural hair. And because I've incorporated water into my regimen regularly, my hair has flourished. So you're probably wondering what's going on with my hair here. Well, I'm getting ready to do a protein treatment on my hair. My hair is freshly washed. I just cleansed my hair. And this is uh, my hair up close. You know, a lot of times people say, you have fine natural hair because your hair looks thick or, what, or whatnot. But as you know, when you talk about fine hair, you're talking about the thickness of the strands. And yes, my hair is fine. So my hair is freshly washed. It's freshly detangled, hence why I can just go through it like that. Um... But I did a video before about um, the Apogee two-step protein treatment. I did that before. And I came across the Green Beauty channel. I've watched that channel. Um, very informative uh, young lady. Um, I don't know if she's a chemist or in science or she's something. <laughs> because she's, she has very informative, informative videos about the science of why things occur. So I placed an order with her, um, her real protein. I wanted to place an order with that because you mix it with just any conditioner that you normally use and you put that on your hair and it's not the hardening um, that you have with the Apogee where you have to sit up under, under the dryer and it gets hard or sticks like rotten eggs like the Apogee and the Apogee tends to be a little messy. So I decided to redo. I've already had my conditioner in my bowl. And I've already put the protein, and this is it. It's hydrolyzed wheat uh, protein, and the molecules, I believe that's what's correct, are small, small enough to penetrate your hair. Um, and I've already mixed the appropriate measurements in my bowl. I'm just mixing it, you know, thoroughly just to make sure it's, it's in there. I don't know if I'm going to use all of this, you know, on her uh, video, and I'm going to link it below. She says two cups of uh, conditioner to one third cup of the protein. 
So I don't have that much hair like that. So I did one cup and one one sixth cup of protein. So I think that's thoroughly um, mixed. And so I'm going to do a protein treatment, um, you know, not totally on camera, but come back and show you my hair afterwards. But again, I mainly want to educate on my channel to um, not only show that our hair can flourish, but also show that fine hair can be just as beautiful as any other um, hair. Um, I guess density is the word I'm looking for that you see out there. So um, if you'd like to see this protein treatment, stay tuned. So I've put the protein on this one section, and as you can see, my hair is already thoroughly um, detangled, so the comb is able to get through. One thing she cautioned was to make sure you don't get this on your scalp, so I'm making sure that it's not on my scalp. If you also notice, I made sure I kind of parted my hair because one thing I was finding is that I wasn't putting my conditioner always um, throughout my hair. So I'm just kind of making sure it's on all of it. Ooh. And then also, since I wear glasses, um, it's very important to take off your glasses and make sure you get your conditioner on that part of your hair because I found that my hair was kind of dry. Um, in that area all the time. That's because a lot of times I wasn't taking off my glasses and I can't see a thing um, to do that. One thing she did say is to make sure you concentrate on your ends because that is the oldest portion of your hair. So with that section done, I'm going to twist this up. I'm going to finish the rest of my hair. Um, she then calls for you to sit up under the dryer. Well, you can sit up under the dryer with heat for 15 to 20 minutes. And then rinse it out or you know with a plastic cap on of course or you can just put a plastic cap on and I believe leave it on for 45 minutes again I'm going to link her video below um, so you can see you know get the directions you know uh, firsthand should have brought clips but I didn't and now I'm just gonna section really quickly just to make sure I can feel that that area doesn't really have anything on it. Um, just to make sure I have this on all of my sections. Yeah, the little bit that I can see. My eyes back on. <laughs> and comb this through. Starting at the ends, you notice I didn't because my hair is already detangled. Look at that. You know, our hair, as far as fine natural hair, is very fragile. Yes, it is. But um, I've been taking really good care of my hair. My hair is very strong right now. Um, so this protein treatment I probably will not do regularly, maybe once a month, maybe once every six weeks or something like that. But my hair is very, very strong. And although, yes, we do handle our hair with care, if you're treating your fine natural hair well, it will thrive, it will grow, um, and it will be strong. Now, that's not to say that you manhandle your hair. You probably shouldn't do that anyway, regardless of whether it's fine or thin or what have you. But I take very good care of my hair. I deep condition every time I wash my hair. I pre-poo my hair with coconut oil um, be, so I can detangle it before I wash my hair so that my hair is never in a detangled state during the washing condition process. And that has really helped me to retain length. So I'm gonna finish this process and I'll come back on and show you my hair after I rinse it out and we'll chat later. Okay, so I am back from rinsing uh, the conditioner from my hair. I set up under the dryer for about 18 minutes. And um, let me tell you what I did. I used um, Giovanni's um, Deeper moisture conditioner, store bought conditioner. I purposely used that because I didn't want to use any of my expensive conditioners that I swear up and down are just making my hair soft and luxurious. Um, and I'm going to explain that in, in my next video. And, and actually, it's going to be up probably at the same time this one is up. So make sure you click and, and listen why, because I have had a big eye opener 
on my products. But anyway, like I said, that'll be the next video. But um, so I use Giovanni um, Deeper Moisture um, Conditioner. It's just a store bought conditioner, a cheapie, if you will, um, to mix this um, protein mixture in. And look how much I have left. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and use it again. Or maybe give it to my daughter. I don't know. Um, because I wanted to make sure I got a true impression of this treatment and that it wasn't, you know, a product that I already had that normally gives me a good feeling that was that would mask um, if it did or did not do anything to my hair. So this is my freshly rinsed hair. Um, I hope you guys can see that. And I didn't drain it at all. <sighs> my hair is super soft. I'm laughing because we think these products do so much and it's just not the case. Um, look at that, you guys. That's my normal curl pattern. Try not to get any water on my laptop. That's a whole nother story. But at any rate, um, this is, you know, my hair without it being dried at all. I have a t-shirt dried my hair. Look at that. My hair is super soft. Um, you can see that henna. I am so shocked. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. I'm going to dry my hair. But I wanted to come and let you guys see it first. Look at that. Look at the elasticity of my hair. Look at that. Guys, that's what keeps your hair from breaking. Your hair should be able to spring out. I mean, come out. I don't know the word I'm trying to think of. But anyway, you should be able to elongate your hair and it spring back without any breakage. That's healthy hair. And since I'm doing that, what about a quick kind of sort of lamp track? So as you can see, my hair is really, it's really flourishing. It's really growing. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a second video after this one because I'm trying not to make this one super long on what I've discovered about my products. Um, uh, just education is the key to everything, whether it's getting a good job or whatever, but clearly even about your hair, skin, the foods you eat, what have you. So I hope you tune in to uh, my next video in regards to my products. I've enjoyed doing this one. I've enjoyed just showing you guys um, just the health of my hair in hopes to encourage somebody else who may have fine hair that yes, our hair can thrive, our hair can grow, and our hair is fine hair. Um, so I appreciate your time. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for my old subscribers who've been holding out and waiting for me to post uh, new videos. Um, I look forward to making uh, videos for you guys and thank you so much for watching.